Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is eighth part of our Linux basic networking series. And in our today's video, we are going to take a look at the utility called NMCLI. NMCLI stands for Network Management Command Line Interface. So this is the utility uh, with which we can modify and create connections uh, while on the command line. So it's, it's not that difficult utility actually. It's kind of... Um, difficult because it has some really long uh, commands uh, but uh, if you follow it properly it's going to be really simple and it's very powerful okay so in order to start nmcli you will just type nmcli uh, let's press enter and you can see it has some options and then it has the object uh, the object is basically these objects are subcommands so for example you can see that there is an uh, object called connection okay so how it works is nmcli then this con or the object or the subcommand and show this command will show what current active connections we have and if we press enter we can see that currently we don't have any active connection okay so to create and uh, if i try to ping you will be you will see that i'm not able to ping the network right now or ping the ip address Okay, so how we can create or add a new connection to uh, create or add a new connection, we will use NMCLI, then the con, add uh, con name, uh, you can give it any name, I'm going to give it, it pings, then interface name, interface name is ENP0S3, this is my interface name, actually, S3, sorry. Okay, and the type is Ethernet. Okay, and IP version 4. Here we will use IP4 instead of IPv4. So you have to take a note of this and then the IP address. So let me give this IP address of 30 slash 24. So NMCLI, let me repeat the command. NMCLI con is for connection, add. Here we are going to add a connection and the con uh, name or connection name is it pings. The interface name is ENP0S3. This is the physical uh, interface card or network card. The type is Ethernet IP4 and the IP address and the subnet mask. Press enter and you can see that the connection has been successfully added. So if I type this time NMCLI con show, it will it give me the information that the connection name is it pings and the device is ENP0S3. If I take IPA and we can see that the IP address is already assigned. Let me ping. Uh, it's not pinging at the moment, but let's check 192.168.1.1. So it's pinging the gateway, but it's not, the packets are not going out. We have to wait for a while. Okay, so let me try to activate this connection. In order to activate the connection, you will use NMCLI, con up, and the name of the connection. Okay, so it's showing that the connection is has been successfully activated. Let's try to ping again. It's still not uh, pinging, but it will ping eventually. It has to take some time. It will take some time, sorry. Okay, let me ping some other machine and it's pinging. NMCLI. Okay, the connection is active. Still unreachable. Okay, so let me add the gateway. Let's try to modify it. Okay, so in order to... Okay, but first let me show you one thing. This is the directory actually. It's etc sysconfig network dash script where the connection settings take place. And if I ls, you can see that if cfg dash it pings is already created. Let's vi into it. Okay, and we can see that everything is good. But at the moment, there's no gateway. So let me modify uh, this connection. 
So in order to modify the connection, it's really simple. We will use NMCLI, con, then mod. Mod is for modify. Okay, and then what we are going to modify, we are going to modify the connection called it pings. Okay, and I want to use IPv4 gateway. Okay, 168.1.1. So what's it saying? It's saying the connection I need to modify. The name of the connection is it pings. And I want to add IP version 4 gateway. And this is the gateway address. Press enter. And let's try to ping this time. Okay, it's still not reachable because I need to. NMCLI. Let's, uh, let's take down this interface and bring it back up. So an MCLI con it pings. Down? Oh, sorry. It pings. Okay, and let's bring it back up. IP address is good. Okay, perfect. Now it's pinging. And if we go back to our <coughs> file, if CFG it pings, we'll see that a new entry is always already there. That is the gateway. Okay, and you can see that at the moment there is no DNS entry. So how we can add a DNS? If I go to catetcresolve.conf, okay, there is no DNS, a DNS entry right now. Can we ping google.com? No, we cannot. So how we can add a DNS uh, with NMCLI? We can easily <coughs> edit etcresolve.com file and we can add the DNS, but my focus is on NMCLI, so that's why I'm, I want to add DNS with NMCLI command. Okay, so NMCLI, again, uh, connection, modify, the connection name is it pings. What I want to do is, I want to add ipv4.dns and the dns name is uh, we can add 192.168.1.1 <coughs> excuse me first dns and another dns i want to add with the plus symbol okay so port two dot so that's you can see that you can add another dns with plus the first dns is going to be simple with ipv4.dns and this time if we ping google.com, hopefully it will be successful. And no, it's not. Okay, let me, again, NMCLI, uh, con down, it pings, bring it back up. Okay, perfect. Now we are able to ping the Google and we can ping any website now because DNS is working fine. Okay, let's go back to that file with VI and if CFG it pings. And here we can see two DNS entries again. Now DNS1, the first DNS we added and second DNS is. Uh, 4.2.2 this is the second DNS we added perfect okay so now what I'm going to show you is how we can add extra connection uh, like uh, at the moment we have NMCLI uh, con show we have one connection and it's called it pings so what I'm going to do I'm going to add another connection so I'll just show you how you can do that and what are uh, what is the reason behind this uh, extra connection. Okay, so in order to add an extra connection, we are going to use NMCLI con again. Then this, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the connection, then the con name. This is the name, you can add any name, I'm going to add Salmon. Okay, if name, it's the ether, uh, the interface name and the interface name is ENP0S3 okay okay next the type we need to mention the type and the type is Ethernet okay and Ethernet 
ip 4 192.168.1 dot let's give this connection dash 150 and the subnet mask okay so let's check if we typed everything in a proper fashion and mcli con add the connection and the connection name is Selman interface name is ENP 0 s3 this is the physical interface type is Ethernet IP 4 don't forget that you uh, need to mention only IP 4 here not IPv4 okay and then the IP address and the subnet press enter and we can see that the connection has been successfully added okay so nmcli con show will reveal that the connection has been added but it's not activated so how we can activate it let's take down it pings first nmcli and con down it pings okay clear the screen nmcli con show and we can see that uh, the connection salmon is activated but can it ping uh, first let's check the IP address IPA okay IP address has taken effect but can it ping let's check okay it can ping the gateway but it's still uh, it cannot reach to the outside world so but first let's uh, I'm going to type LS and we will see that uh, if CFG that salmon is created okay perfect if CFG dash salmon is created let's go into this file and take a look and we can see that there's no gateway at the moment we can also modify this manually gateway is 192.168.1.1 okay let's check this okay it's still unreachable nmcli con down salmon nmcli con up salmon nmcli con show okay okay it's still unreachable let's wait what about if we restart the system okay salmon basically it can okay, mcli gone down okay and mcli on show back again now it's pinging perfect so that's the reason of additional uh, uh, like addition of uh, this another connection with an mcli because it if one connection goes down the other can take effect okay so i hope this video uh, was able to explain the reason uh, behind this mystery nmcli command but uh, this is a very basic uh, what nmcli can do in future videos we will see how we can uh, use nmcli for ethernet bridging and bonding so thank you very much for watching please do subscribe to my youtube channel it's youtube.com forward slash linux king like us on facebook it's facebook uh, dot com forward slash linux king 77 you can also tweet us at linux king 77 and you can always write me an email at learning at itpings.com thank you very much and have a good one